In this video, let's take up integration by substitution method. We know that there are three methods namely and mainly for evaluation of integrals and the first one being integration by substitution. Now as the name suggests substitution, that means what we will do? We will actually change the involved variable in the integral. Whatever variable is involved, we will substitute it with some other variable and that is how we will proceed with the solution. For that, let me explain you. Suppose I have an integral that I have to evaluate and that is of fx dx. You have to evaluate the integral fx with respect to the variable x and so it is dx here. What we will do in case of integration? We will assume, we will say let x is equal to say another function gt. Then what is your dx? That is nothing but g dash t. Right? And it has to be g dash t dt. So g dash t dt is what is your dx. Now what you will do? Since now everything has changed to t, you will basically substitute this value in the given expression. So now your i, your integration that you have to evaluate would become integral fx, that would be f of g of t and then dx that would be g dash t dt. So now everything will be evaluated with respect to t and later when you have evaluated this, you will again go back to the step 1 and substitute it for x. So that is how we do it. If still not understood, we will be doing in the later videos more about integration by substitution. So integration by substitution can be understood and it is a very vast topic. So my request is to please practice more and more questions on this topic.